and welcome to this uh, session, the first overview session of Building Excellence in Solution Design. As you know, I'm your coach and management coach and mentor with 40 years of experience in people development. So what are we going to do today? As you, the purpose of this section is to give you an overview about how can you build excellence in solutions design. And in this particular lecture, what we're going to learn is we'll start with looking at what are they looking for in a solutions design professionals. If you want to make a career as a solution design professional, what are they looking for? Right. So what do you think they are looking for in a solution design role? What are the kind of work that you would be required to do as a solution design professional? Okay, so let's look at what are they looking for in a solutions design role and uh, it is nicely summarized in one of the job description I picked it up from. It says basically you have to manage end-to-end -end solution design process. So there is a solution design process, starts with something, ends with a solution. So you need to manage that in an end-to-end -end basis. So that's uh, the overall purpose of this role. And what are the elements of uh, managing that end-to-end -end solution design process? You start with requirements manager management, which could mean identifying requirements, understanding, communicating, etc., etc. And we will talk about this in one of the modules as we go forward. Second would be once you understand the requirements of a client would be to respond. Respond says what is called request for proposal. The companies that are looking for solutions, either a business solution or a technology solution or anything for that matter, would be issuing a, 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 a document that against which they would like you to set a proposal. And uh, the third uh, the fourth thing that they would look in that proposal is obviously is that uh, what you also need to know about how can you do RFP proposal pricing, how can you price your proposal in a right manner. The next thing is as a part of the RFP request for proposal or later on you would have to give the product implementation timeline. What will you do, by when what you do and you need to specify that. Uh, you need to decide that and mention that in your proposal uh, that you send out. Once you get your proposal accepted uh, with all uh, good luck, uh, then you need to understand the gaps in the client's existing systems and as is processes on which he or she or they want to make the, implement this new solution to make some business improvement, obviously. So one of the things that you need to do is to understand the gaps. What are the current processes, as is processes, current systems? And uh, what are the gaps that you see there in terms of which needs to be fulfilled? Then once you understand the gaps uh, of requirement versus as is processes, you need to map and enhance, map the solutions that you have already in your company. If you have some tailor-made solutions, solid, some, uh, 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 already uh, sol standardized solutions existing, and then you need to enhance the solutions to meet the client requirements. That's a very important role and that's where the designing role comes in. Uh, the, the next thing would be to, once your design is ready and approved by the client or your own team, then you need to get it built, either build it yourself or build, test and release this solution to the client. And obviously, once you release the solution, you need to monitor them and see that they are delivering the results. As a part of the release, you also need to do what is called a solution write-up in which you will define the solutions, what is the objective and various things about the solution that can help the users there, end users in the client system make use of these solutions and get trained as well. And since we said this role is about uh, managing end-to-end -end solution design process, you also need to maintain and report the solution design matrices. You need to define some matrices that will uh, be able to say how well are you managing this end-to-end -end solution design process and report this and maintain the data for the business and leadership reviews. So it's a very interesting role and this, is, this role is a very strong role and it is also at times mentioned as solution architect and I believe this is one of the roles that is growing in great demand. So if you are looking for 
a making a technology career, solution architect or solution design role is a very important, very interesting role and a growing role. So what did we learn in this module? Let's summarize. Uh, so what they're looking for is, as you see on your screen, end-to-end -end manage of a solution design process. They're looking from a solution design professional and it starts with understanding requirements to uh, releasing solutions after having built and tested. So that's the role that they're looking for. So what are we going to do in the next lecture? So having understood what is the role of a solutions design prof professional, uh, what we will look at in the next uh, lecture is what are the excellence requirements in this solution design, right? Does that make sense? Because our, job, our aim is to help you become excellent in solution as a solution design professional. So let's understand in the next module what are the ex excellence requirements. So thank you so much for watching this uh, first uh, lecture of the overview section of building excellence in solution design. Hope you have enjoyed, you started learning and you started enjoying this session.